the next guest. Minister Dinka, please, prego, può venire sul, sul palco. So, Minister Federico Dinca, the Italian Minister for Relations with Parliament. And Minister, we have heard from your colleague uh, Enrico Giovannini about the need for investment, but the need for this investment to be sustainable. So what we would like to hear from you is about the relations between two countries like Italy and the United Arab Emirates and what they can do together for sustainable development. Please, the floor is yours. Good morning. I would like to thank the United Arab Emirates Arab Emirates for the Insurance and Chair for Life for, for inviting me to participate in this event today. I am delighted to be with this group of professionals who have been able to raise the bar even higher by taking an active role in promoting initiatives to ensure a better future for the entire community. The pursuit of sustainable development is now high on our agendas. Market awareness has finally changed and there is a growing realization that the contribution of each one of us is needed to make progress in fighting poverty, fighting inequality and achieving wider social and economic development. In this regard, I can only express my appreciation for the many efforts made by the United Arab Emirates in the social, cultural and economic sectors. In the latter sphere, rapid progress has been made in several fields, including aerospace, digital technologies, and energy transition. In terms of development of clean energies and green economy, for example, United Arab Emirates is pursuing ambitious ob objectives for the neutralization of carbon emissions. This is an important challenge that allows the United Arab Emirates to present itself to the international community as a global model in the renewable energy sector. The UAE and Italy over the years have been able to build a relationship of growing trust and cooperation. Italy is one of the main European commercial partners of the United Arab Emirates. According to 2020 data, we are the first partner among the EU member states and the eighth overall with a value of trade equal to 8.4 billion of euros. Considering the stock to 2020, Italian net foreign direct investment in the UAE amounted to 11,236 million euros. UAE net foreign direct investment in Italy amounted to 330 million of euros. Despite the pandemic crisis in 2021, the value of Italian exports reached 4,821 million of euros, concentrated in the manufacturing, luxury fashion, food and beverage, and the automotive sectors. Also in 2021, the size of imports from the UAE was considerable, reaching 2,072 million of euros, with a significant peak in the metal sector. These data show that the UAE is an essential regional hub for the Italian companies that want to project themselves not only into the Near and Middle East markets, but also into those of East Africa and South Asia. The Italian entrepreneurial presence in the UAE consists of about 600 companies, large and small, all highly qualified and active in key sectors such as energy, aerospace, construction, transport, consumer goods, security, and defense and bank insurance. Our entrepreneurs find in UAE an environment full of opportunities, even if competitive. In this context, the Dubai Expo is a valuable opportunity to strengthen our ties and launch new cooperations. Expo Dubai 2020 was a unique opportunity to promote Made in Italy products in markets with the greatest potential for growth, which are strategic for our exports and investments. For Italy, the expected economic impact deriving from participation in Expo Dubai 2020 can be quantified at 1,675 billion euros per year. In this perspective, the promotional investment made by our country amounted to 3 million euros, equal to half of the total value for promotional investments. The figure for tourist flows between our countries are also considerable. In 2019, before the coronavirus emergency, 
Italian travelers to the United Arab Emirates amounted to 303.6 thousand for about 2.4 million overnight stays and a total expenditure of about 339 million euros. In the same year, travelers to Italy from the UAE's two main cities, Abu Dhabi and Dubai, reached 152,000, an increase of 9.2% over 2018. Also from a cultural perspective, there is a strong desire to increase exchanges and cultural collaboration between our countries. The opening of the Italian Culture Institute in Abu Dhabi to, on 6 October was an important moment in sealing the bond between Italian and Emirate culture. In this vein, I can also mention the progress in the realization of the Italian school project in Dubai in Abu Dhabi, which is a further fundamental step in the construction of a solid partnership between our countries. To understand the closeness between Italy and the United Arab Emirates, it is also important to consider that on the international level, our positions are of substantial convergence on the main political and economic issues. This is an essential premise on which our di the dialogue between our country is based. Our closeness was also felt during the last two years, during the coronavirus emergency, when there were mutual expression, expressions of support and charitable initiatives. Even if, in the light of all that has been considered, the present relations between Italy and the United Arab Emirates are more than satisfying. We feel, however, the need to make a further qualitative leap in our bilateral relations. On the other hand, the recovery of the Italian economy is certainly tied also to the growth of commercial collaboration with other nations. And among these, the relationship with the United Arab Emirates stands out. If we look beyond the present panorama and place ourselves in a longer term perspective, our partnership still has great strategic potential to be exploited. And I feel convinced that I can say that occasions such as our meeting today go in the right direction. Italy's reputation is great throughout the world. They call us il bel paese because we are famous for the beauty of our extraordinary cultural and historical artistic heritage. We are the cradle of Western civilization. Today, more than ever, this exceptional reputation animates our commitment to bringing the country in a process of major reforms, which aims to give us all a better Italy. The implementation of the National Recovery and the Resilience Plan will be based on a combination of investments and reforms and will aim to promote, among other things, competitiveness, digitalization, innovation, inclusion, and cohesion. It will aim to ensure the countries a full ecological transition and infrastructure for sustainable mobility. We are working on institutional reforms to strengthen the competitiveness, reduce paperwork process, remove constraints that have slowed down the realization of investment or reduced their productivity. These include reform of the justice system and public administration, reform of some components of the tax system to make it fairer, simpler, more efficient, efforts to improve the labor market with a view to greater fairness, actions to promote competitiveness and sector reform to ensure maximum effectiveness of the plan's interventions and projects. Major investments are planned in support of education, infrastructure and health. We are building a new Italy and the future of our country lies ahead of us and the entire world. Thank you very much.